Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. In a shocking revelation that has sent ripples through the music industry, Meek Mill recently opened up about a startling chapter in his life. The hip-hop artist, known for his candid lyrics, peeled back the layers of his personal experiences to disclose how his relationship with Diddy took an unexpected turn. This unexpected twist involves the unsettling revelation of a sexual relationship with Diddy. Join us as we delve into Meek Mill's candid account of navigating fame, friendship, and the unforeseen consequences that rocked his world. Diddy's sexual relationship with Meek Mill. In the world of hip-hop, scandals and controversies are no strangers. But the latest bombshell accusation has sent shockwaves throughout the industry. A recent lawsuit filed by producer Rodney Lil Jones has alleged that rap mogul Diddy engaged in a sexual relationship with fellow rapper Meek Mill. These explosive claims have brought to light a hidden side of Diddy's personal life, one that he has kept under wraps for years. The lawsuit, consisting of 73 documents, provides detailed accounts of sexual assault and misconduct, shedding light on the dark underbelly of the music industry. Lil Rod, who claims to have produced nine tracks on Diddy's latest album, The Love Album Off The Grid, alleges that he was subjected to a series of horrifying experiences while living with Diddy to work on the project. According to the lawsuit, Lil Rod was only paid a meager $21,000 for his work despite spending 13 months in Diddy's house. Lil Rod's lawsuit details instances of unwanted sexual advances, with Diddy allegedly groping his anus and crotch without consent. Lil Rod also claims that Diddy exploited his admiration for Stevie J, a renowned music producer to coerce him into engaging in homosexual acts. Shockingly, Lil Rod says he was shown a video of Stevie J engaging in unprotected gay sex with another man, with Diddy asserting that such behavior was commonplace in the music industry. Lil Rod, who identifies as a heterosexual Christian man, expressed his discomfort with Diddy's advances and confided in Diddy's chief of staff, Christina Corum, also known as KK. However, Lil Rod's concerns were dismissed, with KK allegedly downplaying the groping as Diddy's way of showing affection. To further entice Lil Rod, Diddy allegedly promised to make him a Grammy winner in the Producer of the Year category if he engaged in homosexuality. The lawsuit explicitly states that Diddy disclosed his sexual encounters with other celebrities, including a male rapper whose description matches that of Meek Mill. Meek Mill, a Philadelphia-born rapper who gained fame for his relationship with Nicki Minaj, has been the subject of intense speculation since the lawsuit's filing. Lil Rod's claims have fueled rumors of a romantic relationship between Diddy and Meek Mill, adding another layer of complexity to this already explosive scandal. It is important to note that these allegations are shocking and sensational, but they are based on the claims made by Lil Rod in his lawsuit. Diddy's lawyer, Sean Holly, has vehemently denied these allegations, labeling Lil Rod as a liar and accusing him of seeking an undeserved payday. Holly has dismissed the events described in the lawsuit as pure fiction and a transparent attempt to gain attention. One such piece of evidence is a screenshot taken from a video that allegedly shows Stevie J engaging in unprotected gay sex with a another man. Lil Rod asserts that Diddy showed him this video, using it as a means to normalize such behavior within the music industry. This screenshot, attached to the lawsuit, serves as a shocking reminder of the lengths to which Diddy allegedly went to manipulate and coerce Lil Rod into engaging in homosexual acts. It is a disturbing glimpse into the alleged practices that occur behind closed doors in the music industry. Additionally, Lil Rod claims to have endured constant unwanted advances from Diddy, including instances of groping his anus and crotch without consent. While these allegations allegations are deeply troubling. They are supported by Lil Rod's detailed accounts and the testimonies of those close to him. Friends and acquaintances of Lil Rod have come forward to corroborate his claims. They have provided statements attesting to his discomfort with Diddy's advances and the emotional toll it took on him. These testimonies lend credibility to Lil Rod's allegations and paint a picture of a vulnerable artist subjected to the whims of a powerful figure in the music industry. It is important to note that Lil Rod's claims extend beyond the alleged sexual relationship between Diddy and Meek Mill. The lawsuit also accuses Diddy of drug trafficking, hiring sex workers, and participating in various sexual activities. These claims, if proven true, would further expose the dark underbelly of the music industry and the potential exploitation of artists. As this scandal unfolds, the question arises, why would Lil Rod come forward with these allegations? Some speculate that it is a quest for justice and compensation for the abuse he claims to have endured. Others argue that Lil Rod's motivations may be driven by a desire for fame or revenge. Regardless of his intentions, the evidence and testimonies presented in the lawsuit cannot be ignored. Diddy's lawyer, Sean Holly, has vehemently denied these allegations, dismissing them as pure fiction and an attempt to gain attention. However, as the evidence continues to mount, the public and the music industry are left
left grappling with the unsettling possibility that these allegations may hold some truth. As this scandal continues to unfold, it serves as a reminder that fame and success do not exempt individuals from accountability. It is crucial that we support and amplify the voices of those who come forward with their stories, shedding light on the dark corners of the entertainment world. Meek Mill's response, in the world of hip-hop, controversies and rumors are no strangers. And when it comes to Meek Mill, the renowned rapper from Philadelphia, he knows all too well the price of fame and the constant scrutiny that comes with it. Recently, Meek found himself at the center of a storm of accusations as he was dragged into the latest lawsuit facing Diddy. But Meek wasn't about to let these allegations go unanswered. Taking to social media, he unleashed a series of messages, expressing his frustration and shedding light on the challenges faced by hip-hop artists. They are powering this stuff even if it's fake. The goal is to disrupt the hip-hop community. I own this music that dropped Tomar Play It. With these words, Meek Mill made it clear that he was not going to stay silent in the face of these accusations. The rapper, known for his unapologetic lyrics and powerful presence, took to social media to address the situation head-on. But who exactly was he referring to when he mentioned they? It remains unclear, but one thing was certain. Meek was not going to let anyone tarnish his reputation or disrupt the hip-hop community he holds dear. Meek's frustration was palpable in his words. He was tired of the constant scrutiny and the unfounded allegations that seem to follow hip-hop artists like a shadow. The rapper, who has faced his fair share of controversies in the past, knew all too well the toll it could take on one's career and personal life. But this time, he was determined to set the record straight. Meek Mill's determination. I'm going to expose who's behind trying to kill the black image of the most influential artist. Every black blog site out there making me seem gay, they better watch out. Meek Mill wasn't just going to sit back and let these rumors spread unchecked. He made it clear that he would not tolerate anyone tarnishing the image of influential black artists. With a fiery determination in his voice, he vowed to uncover the individuals responsible for these campaigns and hold them accountable. The rapper's commitment to protecting his family's wealth and ensuring a better future for the hip-hop industry was unwavering. DJ Academics, a prominent figure in the hip-hop community, found himself on the receiving end of Meek's warning. Meek made it clear that he would not tolerate anyone playing with his name or spreading false information. While the specifics of what would happen if they were to cross paths remained a mystery, one thing was certain. Meek was not to be trifled with. As the rumors continued to swirl and the accusations grew louder, Meek Mill's initial response showcased his frustration and determination to set the record straight. He refused to let anyone tarnish his reputation or disrupt the hip-hop community he holds dear. In a sexual harassment and assault lawsuit against Diddy brought forth by Rodney Lil Rod Jones, two notable names were redacted. One of those individuals was described as a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Given Meek Mill's status as a rapper from Philadelphia and his previous relationship with Nicki Minaj, many began to speculate that he could be the redacted name. However, it is important to note that speculation alone cannot confirm the truth. DJ Academics, known for his controversial commentary on hip-hop, ran with the assumption that Meek Mill was the mystery person in the lawsuit. Meek, however, took exception to this accusation and made it clear that he would not tolerate anyone playing with his name. The tension between the two escalated, leaving fans curious about what would happen if they were to cross paths. One love to the gay people, but that juicy p do it for me. I done ran red lights to get that feeling y'all weird on here like devil's LL. Amid the speculation surrounding his involvement in the lawsuit, Meek Mill took the opportunity to clarify his sexuality in a candid statement. He expressed his support for the LGBTQ plus community while affirming his own heterosexuality. Meek's words were a reminder that sexual orientation is personal and should not be assumed based on rumors or speculation. He emphasized that his attraction lies with women and that he has a deep appreciation for the female form. When I find out we gon' take them to war for trying to stop my family wealth, something never seen before will happen in the industry even if I gotta risk my life for it. I'm the average move him out the way type thing. Meek Mill's response to the allegations went beyond clarifying his sexuality. He made it clear that he would not rest until he uncovered the individuals responsible for tarnishing the image of influential black artists. His determination to protect his family's wealth and make a lasting impact on the industry was unwavering. Meek's words were a testament to his resilience and his willingness to take risks to ensure a better future for himself and those who come after him. As the speculation surrounding Meek Mill's involvement in the lawsuit continued, he took the opportunity to clarify his sexuality and express his determination to uncover the truth. It is important to remember that speculation alone cannot confirm the truth, and the focus should remain on the facts as the legal process unfolds. Diddy Faces New Sexual Assault Allegations Diddy is once again facing a storm of controversy as he finds himself entangled in new sexual assault allegations. Diddy, whose real name is Sean Combs, 
is a prominent figure in the music industry. He first gained recognition in the 1990s as a rapper and producer, and has since built a vast empire spanning music, fashion, and entertainment. With his label Bad Boy Records, Diddy has launched the careers of numerous artists and has achieved great success in the music business. However, Diddy's career has not been without controversy. Over the years, he has faced various legal battles and allegations, but none as serious as the recent sexual assault claims made by Rodney Lil Rod Jones. These allegations have sent shockwaves through the industry and have raised questions about the dark side of fame and power. Off the Grid has come forward with disturbing allegations against the music mogul. In a lawsuit filed in New York federal court, Jones claims that he was subjected to harassment and trafficking by Diddy. According to Jones, he was forced to engage in sex acts by Diddy and was also made to solicit sex workers for him for over a year. These allegations paint a troubling picture of the music industry and the abuse of power by those in positions of influence. It raises important questions about the treatment of artists and producers behind the scenes and the extent to which power dynamics can be exploited. In his lawsuit, Jones also claimed that he was subjected to harassment, trafficking, and even drugging by the music mogul. According to the lawsuit, Diddy allegedly forced Jones to engage in sex acts against his will. Jones recounts instances where he was coerced into performing sexual acts with Diddy and was made to solicit sex workers for him. These claims suggest a pattern of sexual misconduct and exploitation within the music industry. Perhaps even more shocking are the allegations of drugging. Jones believes that Diddy drugged him on multiple occasions, leading to instances where he woke up naked, dizzy, and confused. In one particular incident, Jones recalls waking up in bed with two sex workers and Diddy himself. These claims raise serious concerns about consent and the potential use of drugs to facilitate sexual exploitation. The lawsuit includes several pieces of evidence that Jones claims support his allegations. It includes photos of parties at Diddy's house where minors and sex workers were allegedly present, as well as screenshots and audio recordings that allegedly capture instances of illegal activity. These pieces of evidence, according to Jones, provide irrefutable proof of the misconduct he experienced while working with Diddy. Furthermore, Jones alleges that Diddy was grooming him to be passed off to his friends, suggesting a disturbing pattern of exploitation and manipulation. This claim raises questions about the extent of Diddy's involvement in the alleged trafficking and the potential involvement of others within his circle. It's important to note that these allegations are currently being disputed in court, and Diddy and his legal team have vehemently denied the claims. They argue that the allegations made by Jones are pure fiction, and that there is overwhelming evidence to prove that they are complete lies. However, the lawsuit brings to light the need for a thorough investigation and a fair examination of the evidence presented. The implications of these allegations extend beyond the individual case. They shed light on the broader issue of power dynamics and exploitation within the music industry. The lawsuit names not only Diddy, but also several other individuals and entities, including Diddy's chief of staff, his son Justin, Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange, and former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Habtamarian. They are accused of conspiring with Diddy and profiting off his alleged crimes in a RICO enterprise, essentially organized crime. As this legal battle unfolds, it is crucial to remember that these are serious allegations that must be taken seriously. The evidence presented in the lawsuit raises important questions about the treatment of artists and producers within the music industry and the responsibility of those in positions of power. Diddy's denial. Diddy, the influential music mogul, found himself once again embroiled in controversy as he faced a new lawsuit alleging sexual assault and misconduct. Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a producer on his recent album, accused Diddy of a range of offenses, including sexual harassment, drugging, and threats, spanning over a year-long period. The allegations, outlined in court documents obtained, painted a troubling picture of Jones's experiences while living and traveling with Diddy from September 2022 to November 2023. According to Jones, he recorded hours of video and audio capturing Diddy, his staff, and others engaging in what he described as serious illegal activity. The producer alleged instances of sexual harassment and assault, claiming that Diddy subjected him to constant, unsolicited, and unauthorized groping and touching, including of his anus. These purported incidents occurred at Diddy's residences in Florida, Los Angeles, and New York, as well as on a yacht rented by Diddy in the U.S. Virgin Islands. In response to the lawsuit, Diddy's attorney, Sean Holly, vehemently denied the accusations, branding Jones as a liar seeking an undeserved payday. Holly dismissed Jones's claims as pure fiction and emphasized their intention to address the allegations in court, backed by what they claimed was overwhelming and indisputable evidence refuting the accusations. The lawsuit sought a staggering $30 million in damages, underscoring the gravity of the allegations leveled against Diddy. However, amidst the legal battle, Diddy's legal team remained resolute in their defense, asserting their readiness to pursue all appropriate actions against those making the allegations. This lawsuit marked 
sparked yet another chapter in a series of legal challenges involving Diddy and accusations of sexual misconduct. In November 2023, Diddy's ex-girlfriend Cassie settled a lawsuit alleging sexual assault and abuse, although Diddy's lawyer maintained that the settlement did not constitute an admission of wrongdoing. Subsequently, two other women, Liza Gardner and Joey Dickerson Neal, came forward with their own lawsuits accusing Diddy of sexual assault. Additionally, a third woman identified as Jane Doe alleged in court documents that Diddy and two others gang raped her when she was 17 years old. Despite the mounting accusations, Diddy remained steadfast in his denial, labeling the claims as sickening and refuting any involvement in the alleged misconduct. In a statement to Us Weekly in December 2023, he vowed to fight for his name, his family, and for the truth, characterizing the allegations as attempts to assassinate his character and destroy his legacy. As the legal battle unfolded, the public scrutiny surrounding Diddy intensified, casting a shadow over his reputation and legacy in the music industry. With multiple lawsuits pending against him, Diddy faced an uphill battle to clear his name and salvage his standing amidst the torrent of allegations threatening to engulf him. In the face of mounting legal challenges and public scrutiny, Diddy's denial of the new sexual assault allegations underscored his determination to defend himself against what he perceived as baseless accusations designed to tarnish his reputation and undermine his accomplishments in the music industry. Diddy's Controversial Past Sean Diddy Combs, a prominent figure in the music industry, has been embroiled in numerous controversies and faced serious allegations of sexual abuse and misconduct over the years. From his early days as a music executive to his more recent endeavors, Diddy's career has been marked by legal battles, accusations, and public scrutiny. Despite his attempts at rebranding and maintaining his reputation, the allegations against him have cast a shadow over his legacy. One of the earliest controversies involving Diddy dates back to 1991, when he co-promoted a celebrity basketball game in concert at City College of New York. Tragically, the event turned disastrous when nine people died and 29 were injured in a stampede. The lack of adequate security led to chaos, prompting lawsuits against Diddy. Although he settled these lawsuits over the years, the incident tarnished his reputation and raised questions about his responsibility as an event organizer. In 1995, Diddy found himself entangled in the violent rivalry between Death Row Records and Bad Boy Records. The tension escalated when Jake Robles, a security guard associated with Death Row, was killed outside an Atlanta nightclub. The altercation reportedly involved members of both record labels, further fueling the feud between Diddy and Death Row co-founder Shuge Knight. While Diddy denied involvement in the shooting, the incident added to his notoriety within the music industry. Another high-profile incident occurred in 1998 when Diddy assaulted music executive Steve Stout. The altercation stemmed from a dispute over a music video that depicted Diddy being crucified, which he found offensive. In a fit of rage, Diddy, accompanied by two others, attacked Stout in his office, resulting in charges of assault and criminal mischief. Despite facing legal consequences, Diddy's actions reinforced his reputation for volatility and aggression. In 1999, Diddy's involvement in a shooting incident at Club New York further marred his image. The altercation, which reportedly started over a spilled drink, escalated into gunfire, leaving three people injured. Diddy was arrested on weapons charges, although he was later acquitted. However, the incident highlighted the culture of violence surrounding Diddy and his associates, raising concerns about his influence on youth culture. Diddy's controversies continued into the 21st century, with allegations of physical abuse surfacing in 2019. His ex-girlfriend, Gina Huyn, accused him of subjecting her to years of abuse during their relationship. Huyn detailed instances of violence, including being stomped on and punched by Diddy. Her allegations shed light on the darker side of Diddy's personal life, contradicting his public persona as a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist. However, the most damning accusations against Diddy emerged in 2023, when his ex-partner, Cassie Ventura, filed a federal lawsuit alleging years of sexual abuse and assault. Ventura's lawsuit contained graphic details of Diddy's alleged misconduct, including rape, physical abuse, and coercion. She claimed that Diddy forced her to have sex with other men while he watched and subjected her to emotional manipulation throughout their relationship. The shocking nature of Ventura's claims sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and prompted widespread condemnation of Diddy's behavior. In the wake of Ventura's lawsuit, additional accusers came forward, further implicating Diddy in a pattern of abusive behavior. Liza Gardner, Joy Dickerson Neal, and Jane Doe filed lawsuits alleging sexual assault and harassment dating back to the early 90s. Their accounts painted a disturbing picture of Diddy's alleged actions, depicting him as a serial abuser who used his power and influence to prey on vulnerable individuals. The sheer volume of accusations against Diddy raised serious questions about his character and moral conduct. As the legal battles intensified, Diddy faced mounting pressure from both the public and corporate entities to address the allegations against him. Several companies severed ties with him, including Revolt, the media company he founded, and Diageo, the liquor giant with whom he shared ownership of the tequila brand De Leon. 
Amazon. The fallout from the lawsuits had far-reaching consequences for Diddy's business ventures, signaling a reckoning for his once untouchable empire. Despite vehemently denying the allegations and attributing them to extortion attempts, Diddy's reputation suffered irreparable damage. The lawsuits exposed a darker side of his persona, challenging the narrative of success and glamour that he had cultivated over the years. While he may have settled some of the legal disputes out of court, the stain of the accusations remained, casting a long shadow over his legacy in the music industry. Sean Diddy Combs' career has been marred by controversy and scandal with allegations of sexual abuse and misconduct tarnishing his reputation. From his early days as a music executive to his later endeavors as an entrepreneur, Diddy has faced numerous legal battles and public scrutiny. While Sean Diddy Combs has vehemently denied the myriad allegations leveled against him, the sheer volume and severity of the accusations have undeniably cast a long shadow over his character and conduct. These controversies, spanning from altercations in the 1990s to recent sexual abuse allegations, have raised serious questions about the music mogul's personal and professional life. Despite his success in the music industry and entrepreneurship, with ventures like Bad Boy Entertainment and Sean John, the persistent legal battles and scandals have threatened to tarnish the legacy he has built over decades. The recent case filed against Diddy by producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones adds, another layer of complexity to the already convoluted narrative surrounding the music mogul. Jones's $30 million lawsuit alleging sexual assault during the production of The Love Album intensifies the scrutiny on Diddy's behavior behind the scenes. The producer's claims of repeated unwanted advances, harassment, and exposure to explicit content shed light on a darker side of the entertainment industry, challenging the perception of Diddy as a successful and influential figure. This new development not only further damages Diddy's reputation, but also deepens the concerns about a potentially pervasive pattern of misconduct that spans different periods of his career. As the legal battles continue to unfold, the public is left to grapple with the difficult task of separating the artist from the allegations. The outcome of these cases will undoubtedly have a lasting impact on Sean Combs' legacy, shaping how he is remembered in the annals of music history. The intersection of fame, power, and accountability in the Hash Me Too era is prominently on display in these controversies, forcing both fans and critics to confront the complexities of supporting an artist whose personal life becomes entangled with serious legal and ethical questions. This was all from our side. Thank you for staying with us. If you enjoy our content, our newest videos are just a click away.